Hello friends. Today we are going to learn the moment distribution method for given two span continuous beam having the end joint as a fixed support and intermediate as a roller support. So first step for moment distribution method is fix and moment span AB, MFB or MFBA can be calculated by negative positive value as W L by 8 for central point load which is 10 kilo Newton meter and for span B to C or C to B is negative positive due to the UDL it is W L square by 12. which is negative positive 30 kilo newton meter distribution factor calculation now concentrated on intermediate joint as a b which is connected through member p a span and B to C span now individual stiffness K can be calculated by for B to A far end is fixed hence for EI by L so for EI length is given as 4 meter as a 1 EI and for B to C again C is fixed hence for EI by L where length is given as 6 meter so our value is 0 0.67 EI now next point is total stiffness as sigma k hence the value is 1 plus 0 0.67 as 1.67 EI and our distribution factor can be calculated by taking ratio of individual stiffness to the total stiffness and for B to A span it is 1 by 1.67 which is equal to 0 0.6 by 1.67 as 0 0.4 so for BA span our factor is 0 0.6 and BC span our distribution factor is 0 0.4. So, now going ahead for the distribution of unbalanced moment we have calculated the distribution factor as 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 for span BA and span BC. Our fixed end moment for particular span is Now both the end support is fixed so we need not to balance the moment hence we have directly calculated the unbalanced moment at particular joint is 10 minus 30 which is equal to minus 20 and due to the negative unbalanced moment we have to distribute it as a positive hence 20 into distribution factor 0 0.6 which is equal to 12 and 20 into 0 0.4 which is equal to 8. Now due to the far end fixed condition we have to carry over the moment as one half of the distributed moment as 6 kN meter at A and 4 kN meter at B as on the one intermediate joint we need not require to go up to the point of accuracy as 0 0.1 distribution moment so our total moment is minus 10 plus 6 which is equal to minus 4 10 plus 12 is equal to 22 minus 30 plus 8 it is minus 22 and total summation is 0 and 30 plus 4 is 34 kilonewton meter so these are the final moments
नाउ गोइंग अहेड फॉर दी रिएक्शन वैल्यू और वी कैन से दैट दी सीयर फोर्स वैल्यू फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दी सिंपली सपोर्टेड रिएक्शन और सेंट्रल पॉइंट लोड अवर रिएक्शन इज 10 किलो न्यूटन अपवर्ड and for udl it is 10 into 6 by 2 hence 30 kN upward now sigma m by l value is minus 4 plus 22 divided by 4 which is 4.5 kN And minus twenty two plus thirty four by six. It is two kilo newton. Now ignoring the negative sign, four and twenty two. Four is the minimum value, and we have to put the negative sign at four and positive sign as twenty two. Similarly, twenty two and thirty four. The negative sign is at twenty two and positive at thirty four. So let us find out the reaction by summing up 10 minus 4.5. It is 5.5 kilonewton. 10 plus 4.5. It is 14.5 kilonewton. 30 minus 2 is equal to 28 kilonewton, and 30 plus 2 it is 32 kilonewton. So these are the final reaction at individual joint, and these are the final moments in terms of kilo newton meter at particular joint now let us go for the shear force and bending moment diagram where reaction is Now going ahead for the shear force diagram, at joint A, our value is 5.5 up. It is in horizontal straight line, then 20 kN down, then horizontal straight line, and plus 14.5. So value is 14.5 and 5.5 positive negative. Similarly, at joint B. Our value is twenty eight upward. Then twenty eight up minus ten into six down, which is equal to thirty two, and then zero. So positive, negative. Now this indicates that our shear force is zero at this location. Our maximum bending moment will be there. So let us assume the distance from right side as is x meter, and raised value is. Six minus x by using similar triangle rule. Our x is three point two meter. It indicates that from the right hand side at three point two meter, the maximum bending moment will be occur. Now let us calculate the moment at x. Which is equal to thirty-two into three point two as an anti-clockwise moment minus thirty-four as a clockwise moment minus ten into three point two into three point two by two as a UDL clockwise moment and as the right hand side anti-clockwise moment is positive and clockwise moment is negative and so our value is twenty-four point four kilonewton meter. This value is maximum at the distance x equal to 3.2 from the right hand support. Now let us plot the diagram. At joint A, our value is anti-clockwise 4, so it is 4 at upward. At the location B, it is 22 kN up. And at the C, our value is 32, 34 kN upward. Now, final moment is connected by straight line.
Next diagram is simply supported diagram and for the point load it is W L by 4. So 20, 4 by 4 is equal to 20 and for UDL it is W L square by 8 which is equal to 10 into 6 square by 8 is equal to 30 kilo Newton meter. Hence, now at the center the value is 30 but from the right hand side at distance 3.2 meter our value is maximum hence our diagram is so the hash diagram is indicates the final diagram figure indicates the fending moment diagram as well as the shear force diagram of required beam thank you